Toronto City Hall, located on Queen Street West, has become an iconic symbol of the city. Towards the 1940s, it became apparent that there was a lack of space to house the bureaucracy in what is now the old City Hall building. This was due to the rapid rate at which Toronto was expanding. When voters rejected the design for the new building, Mayor Nathan Phillips and the City Council came to the decision of holding an international design competition. The competition had over 500 entrants from 44 countries, resulting in the winning proposal from Finnish architect Viljo Ravel. His team's design was of two separate curved towers at varying heights, rising above the dome-shaped council chamber. The first and second floors of the building are open to the public and contain a range of services, including a daycare centre, public library, and Service Canada offices. Before the new City Hall building, public architecture in Toronto was mostly late Victorian sandstone in the Richardson Romanesque style. Ravel's modern design attracted international attention and helped in the shaping of the country's modern architecture in the post-war era. Le Corbusier's Palace of Assembly was built in Chandigarh, India, 1963 as a Legislative Assembly building. The city of Chandigarh is composed of four zones, political, industrial, commercial, and educational, designed by Le Corbusier and meant to complement each other. When designing the palace, Le Corbusier incorporated India's spatial and artistic traditions. The round assembly chamber, known as Punjab Assembly, is taught by a large hyperbolic tower which surpasses the roof and complements the backdrop of the Himalayan mountains. The Palace of Assembly features Le Corbusier's five points of modern architecture, piloti, a roof terrace, a free plan, strip windows, and a free facade. The building, which is now neglected, was supposed to represent the coming together of citizens. However, it lacks in connection between public and private interior spaces, and as a result, keeps citizens separated. Alternatively, Toronto City Hall's two-story base has a rotunda which allows you to look down from the second floor. This connects the program of each level. In addition, Toronto City Hall's urban location and public plaza allow for greater scale social events to occur.